what done. Hello guys, today I've made a mnemonic about a very important blood condition called CLL, chronic lymphocytic leukemia. So for this I made it, um, two old guys with the cane in their hand had shown, so it's showing that they are old, right? And the old lady's name is Navy Baby, right? And the scene is around the fireplace with the popcorn bowl with a lot of popcorns and a popcorn packet falling from lady's hand. So what are the important points about CLL? Now let's start it. CLL most often occurs in old population, like mostly in the adults which are more than six years of age, as shown by these old people with the kin in their hands. And um, it is a condition in which we have increased number of naive B cells in the circulation, right? This is shown by this old guy saying, hi, how are you, Navy baby, right? So naive B cells in circulation. And um, what's, the imp what's important about these naive B cells? Actually, these are the B cells that have got nuts, like along with the normal CD markers of the B lymphocytes like CD19, CD20, CD23, they co-express CD5 as shown the number five on the lady's shirt. Sure. So basically this is diagnostic on flow cytometry that along with the normal CD markers of the B cells, CD19, 20, 30, you will find additionally CD5, which is basically a T cell marker, but it's present on the B cells here in CLL, right? Initially, the it's asymptomatic condition and um, it's as it's shown by this lady saying, I'm fine, like there's no symptoms, but with time, the it tends to present with different symptoms. So what happens that these um, B lymphocytes, they go to their lymph nodes and they go and sit there, leading to generalized lymphadenopathy right and um, this is called small lymphocytic lymphoma right lymphoma making a mass so this is shown by the beaded necklace and the bracelet of the old lady that it causes generalized lymphadenopathy with leading to small lymphocytic lymphoma right so how will you differentiate between um, the normal uh, lymphocytes and uh, lymphocytes of CLL because um, they are normally looking lymphocytes. The important features on the peripheral blood is, see, is that you will see smudge cells. Smudge cells basically are the ruptured lymphocyte because they are not normal so they will rupture easily and the, in my mnemonic it is shown by the smudged eye makeup of this old lady like you can see her messy eyes so smudged eye makeup is like smudged cells on purple blood so what will be the consequences of these abnormal functioning but normal looking lymphocytes so as they are not normal they are the B lymphocytes that have gone nuts so the capacity and capability of the B lymphocytes to produce immunoglobulins is not there, right? So these uh, lymphocytes will not be able to make immunoglobulins and that will lead to hypogamma globinemia. And it's shown by the packet of the popcorn falling from the lady's hand and you can see the immunoglobulin sign on the popcorn's packet. So it leads to hypogamma hypogamma globinemia. The another important uh, point, the in complication of this condition is autoimmune hemolytic anemia. So as I mentioned that these cells are not able to produce normal immunoglobulins, but in uh, they try to make immunoglobulins and what they do that as a consequence, they make antibodies, immunoglobulins against their own hemolytic um, RBCs leading to autoimmune hemolytic anemia and this is shown by this fireplace you can uh, notice that the fire logs have 
the shape of the immunoglobulins and the red fire is showing hemolysis so autoimmune hemolytic anemia is an important complication associated with CLL the another last important complication last important point about CLL is Richter's transformation what happens that they already have gone to lymph nodes and they uh, result in small lymphocytic lymphoma they can again undergo uh, into additional mutation and transform into the big large B lymphocytes and that classically presents with um, as an enlarged spleen and enlarged lymph nodes that is shown by this popcorn bowl on the fireplace the popcorn bowl is um, in the shape of the spleen so enlarged spleen and the popcorns are showing enlarged lymph nodes so um, Richter's transformation is enlarged spleen and large lymph nodes so hopefully this will help you to remember CLL and these are all the important points for the exam thank you